All right. I'm now using an iPad. By the way, uh, turn up the lights if you wouldn't mind. How many of you have an iPad? All right. A, a few, quite a few. An incredible device. I'm going to illustrate on the iPad, but in fact, this technology is available on the iPhone as well. And what I'm going to do is um, set up this for you, let you know what's occurring. You are a partner in a firm, and I'm going to continue with the firm that Teresa illustrated, Parnes Volano Martinez. And you are out in the field. You met with a client in the morning, but you're trying to set up another meeting, a, a luncheon date, and a follow up meeting with a second client who happens to be Green Oak Family Medicine that Teresa illustrated a little bit earlier. So I'm going to touch Mobile CS. I'm bringing it up. Our people decided to give me a very long password to see if John can forget it in the course of this presentation. All right, now I'm in mobile CS. This is the practice management portion of it. It's the firm level. I will be going through various areas in my illustration here. So it knows when I touch on staff who I am. I'm Larry Harris. I'm the partner. And the first thing I want to do is check my phone messages once I completed the um, discussion with the first client, do I have my luncheon date set up? By the way, what's occurring here is bi-directional polling, where we don't care where Practice CS is installed, but if you use the mobile CS product on our web service, uh, servers, we are gathering data from you, and you are pushing data up to us. So I will touch on my phone messages, and you can see a series of messages here. Ah. There's Marcus. There's my confirmation of the lunch date, available to me right away. Now, I want to know as much as possible about that client. So I'm going to do a client search. I'm going to bring up Green Oak Family Medicine. That's the end client. And I want to know and understand as much as possible before I meet with that client. First of all, the client information. We are linked to Google Maps. You can see that here. Pretty cool stuff. I mentioned the multi-touch. I can see where the client is located. I'm done with that. Now, while I'm on the client information screen, just I want to illustrate a couple of points to you. I have the capability of sending my client a text message, sharing that contact, phoning the client, Emailing the client quickly. I won't do that. But I have that capability. All right. Now what I want to know is what interactions have we had with the firm lately? Who has spoken with the client or any type of interaction whatsoever? You can see my phone call here. You can see another phone call. Several other things. I might want to know something about this note. So I take a look at this just to see what was that all about. I can see it was an access question regarding the virtual client office for an additional member of the firm. Again, this is occurring real time. What projects am I working on for this client? Well, I can see I've got right up coming in a couple of other things, the payroll, no big deal there. I want to see who's assigned to the right up. I can see it's Linda Hunter in my office. Now, I want to see, is Linda up to speed here in terms of her workload? Is she going to be able to get that done? And if you caught what I did, I went to staff availability to see who's available. Not only that, I can also touch on Linda Hunter, see her projects. Wow, she has 14. I might want to chat with Linda and make sure her workload is OK. Incredible capability at your fingertips. So I'm back at clients now. I also might want to see just curious five-year history with that client, what kind of revenue we've generated from that end client, a little downturn in the economy. It's a doctor. 
back up this year. So things are looking pretty positive as far as the client is concerned. I also, remember, we're not just building this in practice CS. So I want to see client notes where we have this integrated with all of our products so we can see a note in practice. Touch on file cabinet, my document management system. I can see a note there as well. And then in UltraTax, also can see the note, fixed assets. Incredible capability and information I have about that end client. All right, I arrive at the restaurant a little bit early. I might want to see some additional detail from the firm as well. So I go back to my firm screen. I might want to see the staff summary. How are we doing this month in terms of our work schedule, billable hours, et cetera? Here's my staff. I can see, wow, pretty good. Having a pretty good month overall here. Looks good. My WIP recap, I may want to take a look at. You can see, driven down by uh, the timing here in terms of the months. Accounts receivable. We had a discussion at the office in terms of driving that down. We're at the end of the month now. I can see it wasn't driven down real well. We still have considerable uh, ending balance here. I'm going to want to chat with our office administrator about that when I get back. We also have key totals from the firm. Again, as you look at this, the, the power of touch, you'll notice the pie chart changes below when I touch on the various items. Today, period to date, year to date. Incredible capability at your fingertips. Another interesting feature is the staff active timers where I can see who actually has their timer on right now at this very moment. I can see that as well. One other thing I might want to see, again, with the time I'm killing here, is that I might want to know, do I want to see someone else when I finish with Green Oak Family Medicine? So I might want to see the clients near me right now. It knows, I'm Parnes Volano Martinez, I'm in Albany, New York, actually graphs them out for me. I can see them illustrated. And this is so cool. Wait till you see this. You might just want to play with this stuff. It actually illustrates how to, how to drive to one of my clients. Absolutely incredible technology. All right, I'm meeting with a client. Now I'm meeting with Marcus. And he has a couple of questions. Again, I just want to illustrate these mobile devices, the power and capability of these devices combined with the power of touch. So what we're doing, client wants to see their last year's tax return and their last year ending financial statements. I say, OK. I happen to have my iPad with me. Marcus, why don't you log in? I'm keying in. Marcus has his password, obviously. Whoops. Good, John. Don't try this at home. So Marcus logs in. And at this point, we're going to actually take a look at net client. That's where we're going here. And by the way, there are a number of things that, in terms of touch, we're going to be dealing with as far as changes are concerned in design. I won't go into those details at this point, but as a Aging boomer here, I might want to make the screen a little bit larger. And this looks familiar to those of you that have net client. I go into Green Oak Family Medicine. And I want to see the last year's financials. There they are, this fast. There's the financial statement. Okay. He also had a question on his tax return. Again, the power of touch. I realize you can do this with a mouse, but not as, not as quick. I go to the tax return. 
look at last year's tax return. I want to see the U.S. tax return. Here we are. He has an 1120S. There it is. I mentioned the power of touch. This is just so much fun, I have to do it. Financial statement, tax return. I could do that all day long. <laughs> all right. What do you think of Mobile CS? All right, we're not done. A few more things as far as mobile CS. First of all, practice management. Some of the areas we're going to continue with. What, one of the things we're building is a mileage tracker to allow us to go out and out, actually calculate mileage for you, automatically bring it into the system. Remember I mentioned smartphones, they're computers that have the capability of making a phone call. We're going to utilize that hardware to the full extent that we can. So we'll have a mileage tracker with a couple of capabilities. By the way, this is not going to be released next week or next month. These are on the drawing boards. We'll also have a route calculation using location. Location is one of the powers of uh, the mobile world and these devices. So we'll understand where you are. You simply touch, do a route calculation to my end client. It will do that calculation for the mileage and automatically bring it in to practice CS. The receipt capture, again, these devices, the phones, have a camera on them. Allow you to take a picture of a receipt, and I realize you can't see this real well, but from that receipt, the total amount is uh, 129.01, automatically bring that into expense entry, the 129.01. Time tracker, having the ability to have someone just turn on the timer, the clock, in their mobile device, and we will calculate the time. In this illustration, we have a total of five hours and one minute, and automatically bring that into the system in time entry. And again, can't see this from the back. We round up based upon the options you set, five and a quarter hours automatically. And another thing, we're not done. We're not done yet. What are the other things that we're thinking about? Well, first of all, now how cool is this? You are Parnes Volano Martinez. You don't have your end clients go up there and look for Thomson Reuters. You're cool. You have your own app at the Apple App Store. Your own firm branding is what we're looking at. So you'll be able to tell your clients, go on up there, Look for Parnes Volano Martinez with your logo. That's what they'll see on the App Store. All right, at a client level, just a few examples. There are many areas that we're looking at here. And as I said, this is where the power and the capability is. Tax return status. Has my return been completed? Has it submitted to the IRS? Has it been accepted? Tax return summaries. Meeting request, again, bi-directional. And appointment reminders will all be available to your clients through mobile CS. Additional items that we're looking at, a lockbox for documents available year round to submit materials up to you. Location services for your end clients. So they'll be able to tell where they are relative to their customers. And of course you also want to get paid, I'm sure. So you'll have the ability to have your clients actually pay you through their mobile devices and will allow the clients to accept payments in their accounting system as well. So a lot of capability is being built into mobile CS. We have tremendous plans. We've moved very, very rapidly over the course of the last year. And the end result being lower cost, raising service levels, and extending reach. Your firm and your technology should be utilized 24-7 working for you all the time. Well, our highest priority though, really in mobile CS, as it always has been with our technology, is to make you look good with incredible levels of client service. If you have ideas, by the way, for mobile CS, we are very much open to hearing them. We wanna know what you want us to build.
So please talk to us.